This is Mareika Jonkers, Paralympic swimming sensation. Doctors said she'd never live a normal life. Mareika Jonkers has proved them right. The Paralympic swimmer is living the dream and she's helping others do the same. I was just learning to walk when I was a little girl and I was in a car accident and that meant I couldn't walk anymore but my parents taught me how to swim in the backyard pool and pretty quickly I was at the school swimming carnivals beating able-bodied kids until they learned how to swim <laughs> so I liked butterfly because they couldn't do that. Second in the world in the 50 metre breaststroke, second in the 150 metre individual medley, and is the world record holder in the 100 metre butterfly for her class. Now that's one awesome Aussie superfish. To start off with 500 easy, mix it up a little bit, no butterfly. You saw I was swimming with my arms and I want to get out the pool, I'll just be using my arms like. I need to move my legs, I need to pick them up to move them. Isn't that amazing? There's the lineup with Mareka Jonkers swimming for Australia in lane two, the fastest qualifier by a considerable margin. And a huge reception from this big crowd tonight for Mareka Jonkers. The 19-year-old from Mumbai in Queensland. And Mareka Jonkers started pretty well. Vale is just getting the better of Jonkers and might take the bronze ahead of the Australian. Very close for third. Has Jonkers got it? No, Vale just pipped Jonkers for the bronze medal by less than two tenths of a second. So great swim by Mareka Jonkers of Australia. She has finished fourth in the final. The placings official, Margaret McAlady of Great Britain, gold in 58.12. Mayumi Narita, the silver for Japan. Patricia Vale, the bronze for Mexico, just beating Mareka Jonkers, who finished fourth for Australia. Looking down at the ocean from 10,000 feet, it's a somewhat different experience for Mareka Jonkers, who's used to watching the water from behind the starting block. Her heart may have been racing, but the 22-year-old showed few nerves, taking the dive with her Paralympic flag in tow to launch Paralympic Week and the one-year countdown to the Athens Games. The drop, a dream realised for the swimmer who holds 56 Australian age records. Before she knew it, the star was making a soft landing on the sand. Her smile couldn't have been wider. That was awesome. I was just like swimming my whole way down. Reflecting on the speed of her sudden drop. Fastest I've ever moved. I don't think I'll ever swim that quick. At just 22, Mareika Yonkers is celebrating selection in her second Paralympic team. Despite her young age, Yonkers will be one of the veterans of the Athens swim team. Back on the coast, she's put the excitement of selection behind her as she works towards grabbing a spot on the Games podium. About to go back to the hard work and in possession of another Australian cap, it's something Yonkers has never taken lightly. First time I was like, oh my God, all I want to do is go. And the second time I just burst into tears when they read my name out. It was such a good feeling. Today was a special reunion for Mareka, the first time she's seen her coach since making the squad. Good on you, mate. Well done. Rob McBroom has given his time free of charge to Mareka for the last five years. It's the most amazing of partnerships. Very few people in the world like Mareka, and I just think that uh, if I could help her be the best that she could be, then that makes me the best that I can be. And it's funny how things pan out, but you do get a lot back from coaching somebody like Mareka. Australia! The 
women's 50 metre be breaststroke and it features the Australian born in Tasmania. Nareka Yonkers lives on the Sunshine Coast now. She's swimming in lane three. So they start in the water and it's purely up to their arms to bring the power in and move them forward. In second place, McKelney and Yonkers. The Australian will finish in third place. So a bronze medal for Mareka Yonkers. The women's 150 metre individual medley for SM4 swimmers. And Mareka Yonkers swims from lane six from Australia. And coming through now at the end, uh, Mareka Yonkers, she's very tired, Mareka, but she will just hang on, I think, for the bronze medal. There she is in lane six, and she touches in third place. Narita ahead of McKelney and Yonkers third. I got out of the pool and I still didn't even know what place I came. I was so exhausted. Um, I kind of kept on the quiet, but I've been battling an injury, and I really didn't know if I could pull that off after the heat swim this morning because I was hurting so badly. So it just means so much. metres individual medley for women SM4 Mareka Jonkers of Australia is in lane three you can see the big sign go Mareka so the Mareka Jonkers fans are here well and truly the Queenslander ready to produce if she possibly can it's a pretty tough assignment no doubt about that but Mareka has to be a real chance for a medal in this and here she is Mareka Jonkers of Australia swimming in lane number three there she is, Mareka Jonkers of Australia, and she's in lane number three. Looking to see Mareka Jonkers manage to get away okay. She's into a stroke. It was a very good start by Lawrenson of Denmark. She has a strong backstroke, obviously, considerably stronger than the rest of the field. And Mareka Jonkers has moved to second. So Mareka going well for Australia, real medal chance. And Mareka has a pretty big control on second spot at the moment she's a clear second and she's about to turn and go into the freestyle as Karina Lawrenson heads down towards the 25 meter mark Mareka Jonkers is going for silver for Australia Mareka Jonkers is holding on to second spot at the moment she doesn't have far to go but the challenges are coming from Vale and also Bruder Jonkers just holding on to second getting very close to the wall Mareka picks up the pace and gets the silver Mareka Jonkers 328.88 has the silver medal only just ahead of Amy Bruder. Great finish by Mareka Jonkers of Australia to get the silver medal. 328.88 for Mareka Jonkers. The first final at these games, Mareka Jonkers has come away with a silver medal. Mareka, I think the look on your face says it all, but tell me what that one means to you to grab a silver medal. I can't believe it. I've been on the Australian team for 12 years now. It's longer than any other woman. And I finally got a silver medal, so I can't believe it. Today, turning 27, has been part of the Australian swim team for 12 years now and uh, had to wait until today, day eight, for this, her only final, her only event of the Paralympic Games. But uh, that wait has been worth it, hasn't it, to gain a silver medal, the first silver medal in her Paralympic career. Congratulations to Mareka Jonkers. meters butterfly. I'm going to have to touch it. My first world record that I've touched. Look at that.
field now for the women's 50 metres breaststroke SB3. Mareki Yonkers represents Australia in lane three. Away, looking for Mareka. She's um, just takes that little while to get into a stroke, but she's into it now and has started okay. This is in one minute, 2.54, and the silver going to Patricia Vale, and Mareka Yonkers gets bronze for Australia. Well done, Mareka. It's really, really exciting to come away from here with the medal. Um, as you probably guessed, my name being Mareka Yonkers, I'm from a Dutch background, so I've got all my relatives up in the grandstand cheering, and my mum came over to watch too, so it's so nice to take something away as a memento. Uh, can I say a quick hello to all of the Sporting Dreams athletes? It's a foundation I started to help athletes become Paralympians. So hello to all the young athletes out there tonight who are aspiring to compete at the World Championships. Maraki Yonkers from Maroochydore in Queensland. What a smile. Very impressive young woman is Maraka. A bronze medal to Maraka Yonkers of Australia. is giving disabled kids a real chance to realise their sporting dreams. Her new foundation will help young wheelchair athletes turn their disability into their biggest advantage. It's great to be able to provide some funds to help people go out and get involved. Despite her hectic regime, she somehow managed time to create her own foundation, which provides financial help to young wheelchair athletes. And I hope this gives them a chance and breaks down some of the barriers of cost of being able to buy equipment and travel and pay training expenses. An able-bodied person can buy a push bike for as little as $100. A modified hand cycle, on the other hand, costs upwards of $1,000. Mareka's foundation will help cover those type of costs. A really important part of giving a grant to the athletes is saying that we believe in you and go out and do the best that you can. 